Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Assassins Reborn. Now, Alliance Quest is actually down right now. We finished day five earlier, so I'm actually able to come in here with Havoc. I still brought in Gladiator Hulk for path one, and of course I had to bring in my boy Starkey. He is just so useful. All right, so first fight, as you can see, they did not place a defender there. So I'm gonna go up against this Spider-Man symbiote. Pretty easy. I have not met anyone on this path yet that can stand up to Gladiator Hulk, so it's all good. Uh, the defense tactic is Siphon. We're seeing that a lot more uh, these days. It recently got a rework, buff, what have you. And we're seeing that a lot more now. All right, so face me, active. And so I can go to town. Uh, if I want to, I can fire off my specials. I'll take recoil damage, but I'll heal most of it back up as long as face me is active when I do it. Uh, but as you can see, we're not having any problem. Uh, once he fired his special off, he got spider sense. So you don't want to attack into him, you know, do five hit combos. You want to either wait that buff out because he's going to evade like crazy. Uh, now, if you have a venom, you don't have to worry about it. All right. So down he goes. Now, Havoc can actually take this mini boss here. Uh, even though he wouldn't have been the best option to fight Sentinel, he could have fought this Sentinel. Uh, on that Psychic Thorns. Uh, but they decided to go ahead and take it as normal. Uh, if you watch my other videos, you know that I don't normally take these uh, Junction bosses, I guess you can call them. All right, so we're on to Section 2. And again, no one on that first node. So I'm happy. Easy, easy time, right? And now I'm facing a Red Hulk. Now he can be very tricky. He starts hitting you. He does a lot of damage. All right. Now the defense tactic Siphon is in effect now. He's a villain. You see the villain tag. So now you really have to be worried. When he gets contact, just watch his buffs. All right. So in the beginning, I'm not going to let him hit me because I want to build up these poise charges. So I'm just dexing out of the attacks, building up poise. See it? And now see he hit me and look at that red buff right there. All right. So while that buff is up, he has a lot more damage and block penetration and they stack. So that is what that siphon does. Anytime they make contact and you already know that red Hulk puts out some good damage. So, this is how you play around that defense siphon. You don't get hit. That's the bottom line. You don't take blocked hits if you can help it. Now that last one, you saw how much damage he did, um, but I did that because I knew I was gonna finish him off. And so I accepted that damage. And if I need to use Starkey again, I'll just heal him up a little bit, all right? So that is section two. We discussed these guys here. Uh, I was asked which one I want to take. I said, well, I can probably get that Domino down with Starkey or Gladiator Hulk. Uh, Gladiator Hulk would have faced me active, but we decided to just go ahead and uh, let them take both of those guys. Void, there was no way I was taking that Void. He would eat me up. But I basically told everybody that Havoc I mean, that uh, Korg is mine. Just chill. Don't nobody touch him because I'm going to get ill. I wonder if you guys know where that's from. Anyway, uh, since I have Havoc, that's who I brought in to face this Korg. I am a Korg killer. All right. Now, I'm boosting up. I'm pretty sure Havoc doesn't need it, but I'm... Boosting up because I know that the next fight against that Dark Hawk, I'm probably going to need it. That's a power gain node, 
and I have no guarantees on that one. And I'm not the most patient and you have to be very patient when you're fighting, uh, on a power gain node there. All right. So what I also wanted to do here is as you see, I'm healing him up. I often forget to do this, but I'm healing him up. I'm not going to take Starkey in against Korg. But the reason I'm healing him up is so that when I boost with this health boost, I'm getting the maximum effect from it. So just a little thing to keep in mind. You want to heal up before you boost up. All right. And like I said, I often forget that. Now I'm thinking, what boost shall I choose of the little three minute variety? And I chose advanced power. Now I'm hoping that I can finish this guy before that boost is over. That way, when I go after Darkhawk and I'm using Starkey, I'll be able to get to a special two very quickly. All right. So Korg, of course, is not a villain. So we go in here full of confidence and I'm pretty sure I am not going to have to worry about it. You know, you have limber, but I'm not trying to parry Korg anyway. When you parry him, he tends to get more of those uh, charges, rock charges, whatever. And so I often just take blocked hits from him. All right, bait out his specials. And that's pretty much it. Now here, I messed up a little bit. Okay, so um, I did evade the special one. It's so satisfying to do that. His shield is shattered, and I immediately fired my special three off, but it was not fully powered. All right, still did a lot of damage, as you can see, but not fully powered. Uh, so what you want to do, if you want to get a fully powered one, is let those plasma charges start bleeding over onto Korg. And when you have like 10, because at 11, it's going to detonate. So when you have 10, then you want to fire off your special three and you'll do a lot more damage. So the only thing that that meant was that I was going to now need to do two special threes and it took a little bit longer and I'm still thinking, man, that boost, I don't know if I'm gonna have any time left, you know, on it, but here we go. Shattered his shield again, and this should be it. Uh, now, I don't know if I could have one shot him with my other special three if I did have 10 charges on him, but I may not have needed to get to a special three again. I might have been able to finish him off with a special two. In any case, down goes Korg without too much difficulty. Now we're facing Darkhawk and Starkey definitely can beat Darkhawk. And I'm worried about it because I know I'm not always patient, but I saw that I still had a little bit on that advanced power. So boom, I've got one bar. And for some reason, I kept parrying him. My timing just was off. And then I'm in a corner, you see I'm getting clipped. So I'm like fighting my way out of this corner and I needed to fire off my heavy there, but you know, he's unblockable. And I'm just like, get away from me. I don't believe this. I'm just getting wrecked. And so I just fired off a special two, hoping to do as much damage as possible. And just look at this. I'm just like, I don't believe this. And I just go down. That was the ugliest fight. I'm just stunned at this point. I just played that all wrong. I kept parrying him in the beginning instead of building up my poise charges. So my timing was just off. You know, sometimes that happens. Now here, I made a mistake. I was still boosted up and I'm thinking, all right, you know what? I should be able to finish him off with Gladiator Hulk. So I'm trying to keep myself from having to revive and uh, heal up Starkey. So I go in with Gladiator Hulk. Now, without face me, he is just okay. All right, so you see here, I'm, I'm like, I'm not gonna get caught in that corner again. All right, so I push him to a special two. 
Now I need to bait it out. And he's not throwing it. And then I did that same parry again instead of that. And see, now I'm just going in, but I knocked him down. When you knock Darkhawk down, he goes into shield mode, which is when he gets that auto block. So you usually don't want to do that. So after I messed up in the beginning, and instead of being able to bait out a special, I parried him. And then he got me in the corner. And remember, his special two is unblockable, and I cannot evade it when I'm in the corner. And I'm like, I don't believe that happened. But that was my fault. I should not have gone in there. I should have done what you see me doing here right now and just revive. I've got them. And this could have been just a one death encounter. But it is what it is. I'll remember next time I was trying to save items, but I ended up using uh, the items anyway. Uh, for some reason, I didn't want to use the invulnerability because I haven't seen an invulnerability boost for a long while. And at this time, we were pretty sure that we were going to lose. Uh, it was still, you know, possible that we would win, but very unlikely. We would have to have played perfectly. And they seem to be playing way better in the second half than they did in the first half. All right. So here we go. See, I'm still trying to get the poises. And this time, when I parried him, I just went in for the attack. You know, I wasn't even trying to uh, 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 build up my poise charges. Just go in, try and do as much damage. Don't use specials because you don't want to knock him down. This time, I did fire the heavy off, but it took him out instead of just draining his power. All right. So that is going to do it for my participation. At this time, I'm still waiting for the boss to be open but i didn't have a boss fight so let's find out how we did in this war and we're back and as you can see we did lose this war now we did manage to get all three of our bosses down which should be our goal for every war no matter whether we win or lose and if we do that we have a very good shot at at least platinum four now, I want to say congratulations to Assassins Reborn. Uh, at the first half, they gave up a lot of deaths. And we were thinking, okay, uh, we may be able to win this war. They had decent diversity, some pretty good defense. Um, but we saw that they were dying like crazy uh, in the first half of the map. But towards the end, they were playing excellent. Um, I forget, but they gave up something like 30 deaths in the beginning. And then at the second half, only nine. So congratulations, guys. Great war. Well fought. Uh, so that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a... Blessed day.